Kate Winslet is bitchy. Starring Kate Winslet and Arthur Hiller. And who the hell is Arthur Hiller? I got Arthur Hiller. He directed Love Story. Oh, get oh, I know that. <laughs> yeah. He was pretty famous back then. Yeah. Love Story was a huge movie. One of the huge he is. The 1970 rom drum where a couple meets, quickly falls in love, she gets cancer, blah, blah, blah. You know how it ends. No bueno. So what do we ask Cardi? I once heard that you were going to direct The Godfather. Is this true? They asked me to direct it, but I said I'm not the right person for that. And that was not the right question. We should have asked about Love Story's incredible chemistry between Ryan O'Neal and Ellie McGraw. How long did they date before she got cancer? I don't recall. It better be at least two years if you want me to stick around. No, that's like Titanic. Titanic, they knew each other, what, three days? That's stupid, by the way. Don't anchor yourself down for someone you've known for two weeks. He gave up his life. Exactly. Leo could have lived. Which brings us to reasons why Kate Winslet in Titanic is a horrible, horrible person. She was leaving her fiance. She was leaving Billy Zane. Cheater. She had all that room on that stupid door, and he could have gotten up on that dumb door. And then she's all, I'll never let go, and pushes him. Big stinking liar. She threw that priceless, like, jewelry in the thing. Fiscally irresponsible. She was a bitch. She really was. Leonardo DiCaprio saved himself a lifetime of heartache by drowning. <laughs> DMZ. We can even destroy love. Thanks, Kate Winslet. You're evil.